Friends, I wanna share with you something today that will change your manifesting game. I wanna show you something you can do to hone your visualization in to the actual vibration of what you want to manifest. Visualization is exceptionally powerful when done correctly. The problem for most people is they push their dreams further down the track with the way that they visualize them. Come and spend a few minutes with me and let me unpack this for you. It might just change your life. Hello glorious you, welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben and I sure am thankful for your company. So make yourself at home friend. And if you are new, a very special warm welcome. Won't you join our energy and our family here? You can do that by subscribing to the channel. I sure am thankful for you. Today, friend, I want to talk with you about visualizing. I want to unpack this in a way that will be profitable for you, but I don't want to take a lot of time in doing it. See, when you visualize, if you're like most of us, you are actively pushing your dream away. When you visualize that relationship, when you visualize holding that person in your arms, walking down the aisle with them, kicking the sand along the beach, looking longingly into their eyes, when you visualize that, what you are actually doing, if you like most of us, is pushing it further away from you and you seek to get closer to it, but the very act of seeking in the manner and way in which you do it is pushing it further down the track. How about all of that money? How about that wild abundance? You visualize yourself driving your Rolls Royce or building your home or flying on your jet or doing whatever it is that you're going to do with all of that provision. But if you're like most of us, the way in which you are visualizing your interaction with that is just pushing that further and further away. Friend, that stops now. Here's the deal. You have to be gentle with yourself. See, you don't know what you don't know. I go through this with my wonderful kids all of the time. They're 13 and 15 now. And I'll say something to them and they'll say, oh, sorry, Dad. And I'll say, that's all right. You don't need to say sorry because you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't know what you didn't know. Now you have more information. You can make better decisions. So you've got nothing to be sorry for. I want that to be the energy with which you enter this today. Because when I share this with you, you'll think to yourself, how did I not recognize that? How did I not know what Ben's just told me? But it will come to you as a revelation as it did me many years ago and it changed the game. It changed my entire outlook, my roadmap, and the results that I have gotten ever since. See, we know that when we visualize, we've got to visualize with a feeling, but here's the deal, a feeling is just one thing. A feeling is the end product of an experience in the outer world. Think about it. A feeling that you have is the end product of an experience that you've had in your outer world. You stump your toe, you hurt it, the feeling is the end product of the experience. Someone breaks up with you in a relationship, that broken heart that you nursed, the feeling of the weight of that is the end product of the experience. That's what a feeling is. So then, when you visualize your dream coming true, what is the energy with which you interact with it? Visualize that person, that, that, that significant person, that other person. Visualize that money. Visualize that the healing. Visualize the house, the success, the business. Whatever it might be that you are dreaming of manifesting, when you start to visualize that, pay attention to the energy with which you interact with it. So you're interacting with that dream and that in that process of visualization with it down the track in the future. It's not the present version of you that you see and hear interacting with that dream, is it? No, it's you when you get there. But this is where the work is. You've got to close the gap. You when you get there isn't where the dream happens. You become it and the dream finds you. You become it and the dream becomes you. That's how it works. Therefore, you can't wait for the lottery win to feel abundant now, especially when you visualize it. You can't wait for the wedding ring to feel unconditional love 
even right now if you are single. That's where the work is. When you learn to visualize and interact with the now energy, as I like to call it, that shifts reality. When you close your eyes and you visualize yourself in the relationship, with the money, having the healing, driving the car, running the business, flying the plane, when you visualize that, you have to connect with it in the now energy. Now here's the dichotomy of all of this. If you are already whole, why do you feel incomplete without that thing? See, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is what gets most people tripped up. The spiritual work in manifesting a dream is to become whole in the absence of it in the material world. One of the higher faculties that you and I enjoy as human beings is generating a feeling. You can close your eyes and put yourself on that sandy beach, at that dinner party, moving into that home, banking that check, in that business, in that relationship. You can close your eyes. You can interact with the thought of that and conjure up a feeling state to where your body doesn't know whether it is exposed to that feeling state because it's in the experience in the environment or whether it's exposed to that feeling state because it's having the experience through thought alone. That is your privilege as a human. And when you learn to control this and utilize this, you will profit from it because it is your privilege as a human. No other species has this higher faculty, but you do. We can slide you in and scan your brain and we can see exactly the same neurological architecture firing up when you visualize and feel it in the now as if you were actually there. So if you are whole right now, why do you feel incomplete without it? It's because we interact in this 3D world through our senses. So we can have a wonderful visualization and sense that person or that whatever it might be with us right now. But when we come out of that and open our eyes, we recognize it's not with us. And what happens to our vibration? It drops down, doesn't it? And then you've got to fight to pick yourself back up. And we get on this emotional roller coaster where we're up and we're down and we're with it and we're without. It. And we think it's going to happen, then we think it's never going to happen. Friend, your spiritual work is just in balancing that energy swell out. When you visualize, interact with the feelings in the now. Remember, the only work is in becoming whole without it in the material world. That means you can't wait for your healing to feel whole. You can't wait for the ring on your finger to feel love. You can't wait for the lottery win for, to see all the zeros in your bank to feel abundant. You can't wait to build the new house before you feel like you've got the mansion. Have the feeling state so perfectly worked out. Get so incredibly familiar with that feeling state that it becomes the truth and everything in opposition, even that which shows itself in reality, that now becomes the lie. Believe the feelings of your inner world. If you will do this, you will manifest your dream through your visualizations. It will come to you quickly. It will find you. You don't have to go searching and hunting and looking and seeking and chasing. Oh, no. You've just got to stay in your lane. Keep doing the inner work because who is for you? What is for you? It's not going past you when you keep showing up for yourself. When you learn your lessons and you come up higher, you listen to the still small voice and take the action you were prompted to take and stay away from getting your fingers in all of the pies where we usually stick them and shouldn't. Friends, I love you and I'm thankful for you. That dream is yours for the taking. I can't wait to hear about it when it manifests. God bless you.